being Rwandan itself, being part of a country that has gone through the worst genocide in the world. When you talk about Rwanda people here, genocide, a country where 60% of the population are still poor, a country where there is trauma. As a Rwandan, it affects me. But knowing that there's people who are healing, because this is not something you, you will hear in the newspaper. You need to talk to the people and find out how they're overcoming these problems. So knowing that there's people, and lots of people, who are healing, who are finding back their lives, who are starting small businesses after healing from their trauma. It was a big relief for me and increases the, the pride of being Rwandan. I'd like the world to see Rwanda as a country, as a people, a strong people a people that can overcome anything, a people that has gone through the worst thing you can ever imagine and was able to recover from it, that is rebuilding, a people that forgives, a people that reconciles, yeah, a people that wants to set an example to the world of how you can overcome conf a conflict and develop an e a strong economy. I'd like the world to know that we are all one, that we are one people, that we have the same feelings, that we have the same aspirations. The problems that the world have now, if a person has a problem here, it's, it's everybody's problem. So I would like the world to always stick together. We are all in this world together of fighting poverty, of fighting conflicts, of fighting trauma, of fighting human trafficking, of fighting all these topics that we, we keep seeing coming back in the newspaper, on TVs. So we are all in this together and I think together we can make this world a better place.